How about fucking Patty the Batty? Yeah, man. Can you even believe? Well, he's a character. You know, people get really attracted to characters. You know, like right. Molly McCann, the same thing. Yeah. Like, like when. More so when Patty the Batty kind of just showed up and, and exploded. Like Molly exploded with him, I think. Yeah, like. well, they trained together, yeah. Right. But, you know, also, she had some pretty spectacular performances, and she's a wild character. She gets fucking fired up and jumps around. And I talked to Dave Portnoy. He bet 10 grand on Molly McCann. I was like, Ugh. Ugh, this this last week. Yeah, and he's like, what do you think about that bet? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, listen, Molly's tough. Anything can happen. But Aaron Blanchfield is a fucking assassin. Yeah. That was, that was a tough one to watch, man. That girl's a straight-up killer. You don't see it that... You, like you never see it when 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 both of of a fighter's arms are absolutely fucking just out of the equation, you know. Like John Jones done that to people. Uh, that was Roy Nelson used to do that to people all the time. It was a uh, big country. He that was his move. He'd get people in a crucifix. Look, a crucifix is a terrible position to be in. Have you ever yeah. been stuck there before? By Holly Holm. Oh, really? Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> you can't get out of it. It's so hard yeah. to get out of it. Like, you have to be elite to get out of that. There's a few techniques that you could do to get out of that. The key is you have to get an arm free. You must. You, you Like, first of all, you have to really do your best to never let that arm get trapped like that. But if you're fighting a superior grappler and you get caught like that, and you saw... um. In a way, um, that's how Zhang Wei Li uh, tapped out Carla Esparza. She started off with a crucifix. She started out with a crucifix on her back and then twisted to the rear naked choke and got the choke from that position. It's a terrible position because legs are so much stronger. You know, like when your legs are trapping that arm, that arm's fucked, right? And then the head pins down and traps the other one. And then you're just, it's just head and fist and right. elbows in your face. Yeah. And you just get fucking noogie to death. Dude, yeah, I, I was at a Jackson Wink with Holly Holm, and uh, she took my arms away from me and just showed me what she could do. Like, oh Jesus, she didn't do it, but yeah. she was just like, and then with the elbow. Did that make you want to train? Did it make you want to learn how to not <laughs> no. be in that situation? No, not at all. Nothing. No. If a girl did that to me, I'd be like so upset. I'd be like, I need to learn how to fight. Fuck this. <laughs> That's so humiliating. It, it, yeah. I, I didn't see it that way. I felt like it was kind of an honor, you know? Well, I get it. Yeah, I mean, she's a world champion. Yeah, she's she's so rad. She's a beast. Such, such a wonderful person. Oh, she's so sweet. Yeah. You would never imagine she's a fucking stone-cold killer. Right. Dude, it, yeah. It, it, it's that, that head kick knockout of Ronda Rousey was, like, one of the greatest knockouts of all time. Like, without a doubt. Without a For doubt. Sure. And it, to see it in Australia live... It was so fucking crazy. So here oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> she gets you. <laughs> and she, uh, nice that she's pounded on the, the ground and not on your face. <laughs> yeah, it's a horrible place to be. Now imagine John Jones getting you in there. Right. <laughs> you know, it's a bad spot, real bad spot. And Aaron is, she's so good on the ground. And the way she explained it when I did the, the post fight interview, how she explained how. She went for the Kimura, and then Molly got her arm free, and then she trapped it again, and then got the leg over the head. And then once she got the leg over the head, I was begging her to tap. I was like, please tap, yeah, please tap. Yeah, I heard that. Please tap. Please. Because if you don't tap, you get a spiral, a spiral fracture. It's yeah. a horrible fracture. If you watch uh, Frank Mir versus Minotaur Noguera. Now, Minotaur Noguera is a legend. I mean, he's one of the greatest heavyweight fighters of all time. He's the heavyweight champion of pride. He was a fucking monster. And Frank Mir snapped his arm. And it's I don't even want to watch it again, man. It's horrible to watch. But he goes for a guillotine. And Frank gets on top of him. <sighs> So here it is, like Frank's on the bottom here, Frank <coughs> reverses him, Frank gets on top, and Frank gets him in a Kimura, and when he gets him in a Kimura, he, he breaks his arm, and the snap, I remember hearing the snap, it was so horrific, see he's got it now, he's got it now, and now he's gonna step over, and now he's in side control, and now he steps over with the leg, now watch when he steps over with that right leg, watch this. Now watch this right here. Snap. Oh. 
Oh. Frank is so big and so strong <laughs> that your your arm has no chance. Your your arm and Frank has broken two different world champions' arms inside the octagon. He broke uh, Tim Sylvia's arm with a um, an arm bar, and then he bo- broke Minotaro's arm. And when you when that arm breaks like that, man, I just I don't think you're ever the same again. Snap, see that? That's it right there. Oof. So what happens is. All the pressure is on this bone and so it's like this going that way and this bone from just the angle it just snaps and you get all the like he's got a giant plate and they have to piece your arm back together like a jigsaw puzzle and screw it all in place and even then like you've, you're always gonna have this bar in your arm and it's probably there's probably nerve damage and tissue damage and it's probably never gonna be the same right fuck that Tap. Just 